Hola estudiantes, abran los paquetes a la página 14. Tomamos apuntes en adjetivos posesivos. You may find this note sheet on page 14 of your packet. We're going to take notes on possessive adjectives. So in English, a possessive adjective tells you who something belongs to. such as my dog, or our house, or her shoes, but it can also describe a relationship between people, such as my mom, or our cousin. The forms of, the forms of possessive adjectives do not change to reflect number in English, but in Spanish they do. So for example, you could say my cousin, you can also say my cousins. Nothing changes about my. But in Spanish, if you're just talking about one cousin, you need to use the singular possessive adjective, mi primo. Whereas when you make the noun plural, you need to make the adjective plural as well, mis primos. So in Spanish, possessive adjectives agree in just number with the nouns that they describe. So if you take a look at the chart on the left, we're going to start with our singular possessive adjectives. So when we're talking about a singular noun, we're going to use these. To say my, we're going to use me. To say your, we're going to say to without an accent. To say his or her, we're going to say su. We're also going to use the word su for their or all of yours. And then these two forms are a little bit different because if you look below, nuestro, actually as well as vuestro, agree in number with the nouns they describe, but they also agree in gender. So, our could be nuestro, it could be nuestra, could be nuestros, could be nuestras. Same here, vuestro will also change to agree with gender. So what I mean by that is if we were talking about my grandma, abuela, we would just say mi abuela. Mi does not change to agree with abuela. But if we're talking about our grandma, we need to change the nuestro to nuestra to agree with abuela. Again, this only happens with nuestro and vuestro. If you took a look, take a look on the right, we also have plural possessive adjectives. So if what you're talking about that's yours is plural, you use the word mis. So maybe you have multiple dogs, so instead of saying mi perro, you might say mis perros. Two will become tus when you're talking about something plural. Su will become sus. And then nuestros and nuestras, as well as vuestros, and vuestras, is also irregular in the plural form. So again, nuestros and nuestras must agree in number and in gender with the nouns that they describe. So I want you to do the practice on the bottom. On the left, all of these translations are singular. On the right, all of these are plural. I want you to go ahead and use the possessive adjectives from above, as well as the vocabulary from Unit 3, Lesson 2, to translate these sentences to Spanish.